So is ChatGBT replacing scripters? Absolutely not. Welcome back guys to a new video. Today we're going to be doing a different video um, and we're going to be basically talking about this new thing going around called ChatGPT. So basically this is UI you can talk to, right? And you can really uh, use it for anything, right? So this is a website right here. It's called ChatGPT, search it up, right? You log in everything. Now there's this thing called chat. It's basically all you're really doing so you can type in anything, right? And you can basically use it to help you program certain things, right? It doesn't have to be Roblox related. It could be like programming a certain software, programming, you know, a website. I've tried it a few times, as you can see from my chats. Um, so we're gonna kind of test this out. Let's try with something simple. We're gonna do something very simple first, and then maybe get a little bit more complicated. So let's say we want a button, right? and we want it to play music when we click it but what i asked is how to make a script in roblox to change the music now this was actually a button script this is when you click a button uh, i didn't say a button but apparently it gave me this um so yeah so this is the actual script you can actually copy and paste this now obviously it gives you instructions so first obviously uh, it says you need a sound object in workspace you obviously need a button a it could be like a text button so let's actually do it let's go on robot suit as you can see right here um we're gonna make a screen ui then we can add a text button and a local script inside to put the script so as you can see this is the script we got from chat gbt completely from chat gbt i didn't add anything to it I didn't modify it a bit let's actually move this here our camera okay um and <clears throat> let's make the text play music oops okay what is okay play music and it does say we need a sound object so let's insert a sound here um i actually already put a music thing but whatever so let's say you have a new sound right rename it to music because that's how we declared it in the variable and we can put any song. So let's go to the toolbox and let's add a song. Right here, it actually changed the sound on the my bad. I didn't even realize. Um, honestly, you can just uh, delete that, or if you want to actually change it uh, from here, you actually you know keep this RBX asset ID and put the um, put the actual the raw ID uh, of the audio. So right now we're uh, in this game, playing music, and it plays the music. Now, obviously, you can't like, yeah, this is all it does is plays the music, right? So, obviously, there does need to be some modifications. It still works, but it's very simple, right? It's a very simple script. Um, so, you can, of course, this is, since this is a chat, right? You can talk back and say, how do you make it, you know, stop when you click again, for example? How to make a teleport script in Roblox? You can use the follow, following script. Now, this is interesting because when i first actually tested this it didn't work at all so instead we can actually remove this and paste this instead let's rename this text button to teleport uh okay my mouse is acting up right now teleport there is a destination part so we have to make a part named teleport destination so let's quickly make a part right now this is the part. Actually, I didn't make one right now. But let's say you add a new one. Teleport destination is the name. Destination. So when this is clicked, the player is the local player, as you can see. And this says player move to destination that position. Now we're gonna see if this works. Works. So when I teleport, oops, looks like it didn't work. So let's see why. So it says move to is not a valid member of player.recur. So the reason why it doesn't work because move to is a function of the player's character, not the player. So for some reason, the AI gave me a wrong script. I mean, not a wrong script, but a small error. So very easy uh, fix, player.character, move to. Uh, so this is one of the flaws that the AI has. So teleport, move to. I actually didn't know that move to is, um, can actually teleport, that's kind of weird. Um, I thought move to was like when you move like gradually or somewhere, like basically walking. This is one instance where the scripts that can come from uh, the AI may be flawed. Say you want to make something even more complicated. Would it even work? 
Okay, so the last thing I actually talked about was um, with the AI was how to make an overhead health bar script. And as you can see, this is a pretty long script. So let's actually, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's actually add this script into a local script inside starter GUI. And let's paste this in. So as you can see, what it does. So get some variables. So player, local player, character, player, local character, humanoid, character, uh, character with Charlotte humanoid, max health is a humanoid's mouth, max health and the current health is a humanoid's current health. Pretty self-explanatory. Screen UI actually makes a new screen UI. Now you don't really need this at all. As a matter of fact, you can just make one like this, screen UI. So you can really delete this and make your own screen UI if you want to. Frame again. This just makes a new frame. You can make your own frame manually without the script. So again, this is really optional. You don't need this. Uh, and half leave also is uh, optional because you can literally make your own frame, right? So until here is where it's actually necessary. Now, if I test this out right now, I'm going to show you why it won't work. So we can test this out right now. No, as you can see, there's literally nothing. Now, why is that? The reason is, as you can see, there's a while true do loop. So when a script, when there's a while true do loop inside a script, the script will go down, right? And it will loop, it will keep on looping through this because there is no exception where the script would have to break through the loop. So it will be stuck on this loop forever. And as you can see, there is actually a line of code right here. This is the most essential code, right? Because it literally parents the screen UI, the screen UI that would hold all of these uh, objects the frame, the health label, and, and the, this will put it on the player's screen. So as you can see, if the script is stuck on this while loop, it won't reach this part, which parents the screen UI to the player's player UI. So if we put this before the while true do loop, or we can put a spawn, uh, um, a spawn function here, uh, like encasing the while true do loop, that would also work, but it's simpler to do like just this. Um, so if you put this before the while true do loop, as you can see, it will appear. As you can see, it appears. Now, obviously, it's a bit weird because it's um, also offset. It's not scaled. But as you can see, it worked. So why is that? Now, I don't know. Chat GPT also has its flaws. You know, again, has its flaws. This is the, like, the third example I've shown you. Is it good? Pretty good. But you do need a bit of scripting knowledge in order to actually use it as a good resource. Of course, you can make some changes here. So for example, um, for some reason, <laughs> health label that size, that's actually weird because hmm, this looks like it's scaled. Hmm. That's interesting. So what you want to do is actually make the frame dot anchor point equals, I'm not sure what, how, equals well if you want to make an anchor point for a ui this is zero zero i think it's vector two isn't it because there's two values i actually never knew vector two dot new zero point five zero um you can keep it like i have no idea if this works out this is completely new stuff okay there's an error oh yeah okay, i shifted it too much to the huh that's weird i shifted it too much to the um to the left. So let's actually make this 0.5 so it's in the middle of the X axis on the screen. Um, so yeah, there's some modifications you can put. Modifications do help it a lot. Um, after that, oh wow, that's a completely full. Okay, then obviously you can make the size. Oh, that's weird, that's 0.5. Hmm. Well, you can make this smaller, but that's kind of weird. Hmm. That is, it is a bit confusing. Um, did I do something wrong here? 0 0.4. Frame. If I make it like this, hmm. make this smaller. Uh, doesn't look like it helped. It's the same thing, but you get what I'm saying, you know? You get what I'm saying. Uh, so this is basically the health bar. Obviously you can customize it if you want. Although this isn't a script, it might help if you'd actually do all this manually and remove all of this. Um, this is all this is really setting it up. Um, so it's again, it's not it's optional, not necessary. But let's actually test the actual health bar. So we're gonna get a gonna get a uh, death or a damage brick. 
right here don't insert a virus make sure don't insert a virus okay so we're gonna actually test this um so i was gonna see this is the health bar and once we get damage oh there you go oh it's like oh i didn't realize damn okay that's how the health bar is actually made as realized it's actually it actually decreases on both sides but as you can see for the numbers it looks like a bunch of batched up numbers um there's a lot of decimals um the fix to that is rounding it rounding it up or down or just rounding it in general um so this also doesn't um doesn't have that feature so you actually want, might want to add that so in that case you want to do like um current health so like for example current health mass health will all, always be 100 unless you're gonna have another feature in your game but like current health you want to round this so math that round and then current health that's literally all um, and then it's much much more cleaner as you can see it's rounding it to the nearest integer um but yeah again this is one script from the ai from chat gbt that can be modified um so that's pretty much it i just want to talk about chat gbt this huge thing you know going around very popular in pretty much every community especially in programming community so is chat gbt replacing scripters absolutely not i mean at least in my opinion because let's be honest like we've seen all the flaws the ai had and you can't really fix it without any you can't fix it you know without scripting knowledge right or you can't yeah now you can't fix it without scripting knowledge um you do need a bit of scripting knowledge even though you're using the ai um there's a lot of modifications and fixes that you need for some of the scripts some of the script work uh, i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna say all the scripts are flawed but again it's an ai it's not perfect so again you do need a bit of script knowledge that's my uh that's my i guess my thesis i don't know uh, but yeah i hope you enjoyed it definitely a different type of video today um but yeah we're just talking about this um if you want another chat gpt video uh it could be any video idea it doesn't have to be like this scripting random stuff um it could be a cool video idea join my discord let me know like and subscribe most importantly and i'll see you guys in the next one